Have you ever had car trouble? The first thing most people do when there's a problem is open the hood and look inside. But where do you start if there's something wrong in your network? Take a packet capture. A packet capture is a tool that gathers all data crossing a chosen interface in a network and creates a list of the interactions, a log, for review. This is often referred to as debugging. It may include information on different types of traffic, DNS resolution, performance problems, packet loss, network congestion, security threats, or other important occurrences. It's the best way to get a peek inside the network to examine what is happening under the hood. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to perform a packet capture on an RB340 series router WAN port. Next. To begin, log into the RB340 series router web user interface by entering your username and password. Click login. On the main screen for the router, make sure the IP address is correct. All Cisco RV340 series routers have the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. To confirm the IP address, hold the mouse over the URL address bar and see the IP address there. One thing to remember is that if there is more than one router on the local area network or LAN, the IP address may be different than the default one. It should look like this. For this video, I changed the IP address to 172.16.1.50 to access the router, so I'll use that one. Before moving forward, check that the firmware version on the router is at least 1.0.03.15 or higher. This is a requirement required to use this feature. To find the version number, click Status and Statistics, then System Summary. The firmware version number is located on the top right side of the screen. If you need to do a firmware upgrade, perform this first. It looks okay on my end, so I'll keep going. Continuing on, change the URL in the browser address bar to get to the packet capture page. Click to highlight the URL and then select the text index.html pound slash status underscore system underscore stats and replace it with debug slash packet underscore capture dot html. The URL should now look like this. Press enter to see a new screen with the heading WAN packet capture. Make sure the IP address is the correct one for the router you want to debug before you continue. If you previously set an alternate port to access the device for remote management, you will need to modify the URL to include the custom port number. If this applies to you, add the port ID colon port ID right after the IP address. If you did not have a specific port number, you can skip this portion. In this example, I changed this router to be able to access remotely on port number 455. I'll add colon 455 to the end of the IP address so that it looks like this. Once the address is in the URL address bar, press the Enter button again. This will self-navigate to a page with the additional debug parameter. Looking at this screen, you'll see a drop-down menu with options. Select the interfaces to debug on this router. The options here are WAN1, WAN2, or LAN. In this case, I'll select WAN1. Before continuing, check out the warning at the top of the screen, stating that the network might become slow because of the debug process. Noted. So now the next step is to click on the Start button to begin the packet capture process. This captures all the communication for that window of time. The log entries come quickly as there is a lot of action on the interface. The duration timer starts tracking the elapsed time. When enough time has passed to get what's needed, click the Stop button. Now, export the packet capture file. At this point in the process, the Export button is highlighted, which means it's OK to click on it. Click Export. A pop-up window shows that the packet capture file is being downloaded. To get the file, 
open the Downloads folder and look for the new file. It should be titled with the port, device name, and date. See? Here's the file that was just exported with the name WAN1 underscore RV340W underscore 20220315.pcap. The format starts with the year, month, and day. The file extension .pcap identifies it as a packet capture file. So there you have it. You've successfully navigated to the correct page and downloaded a packet capture file that will help with debugging your router. Now it's time to inspect the data collected or share it with technical support. Either way, you're on your way to getting your network back up to cruising speed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.